welcome to Two Finger Spirits. We got Pete. Hello. No camera shy camera guy today. No, he's, we're, we're he's working aw. double shifts. He's so here. shy, he's not even here. We're gonna this dock is, his pay. Not, that's it. No paycheck. And who's this? This is James. Uh, you didn't back again. You didn't recognize him because of the porn star mustache. <laughs> right? That's it. Right? Second job. <laughs> but uh, doesn't, get, pays. doesn't get paid for that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep yeah. telling yourself that. Yeah. <laughs> So what are we doing? We're doing so we're gonna do a little a little blue note single barrel reserve, and we're doing actually two versions of it. Yes. Um, one is uh, is, a, is the is the standard, and one is a store pick from Green Farms. Uh, it's, it's actually a barrel strength. And Green Farms is here in Connecticut. It's where here we're in Connecticut. Of. Yep. Uh, so, uh, Westport, the, Connecticut. Yep. Um, so this is uh, originated out of uh, out of Memphis, Tennessee, uh, from Big uh, River Distilling Company. Um, MSRP on this one is about fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is um, the mash bill on this one um, was was we believe it was a, a, a blend a, a blend of two different mash bills. Yeah, one of them is eighty for four percent corn, eight percent rye, eight percent malted corn. barley, and the second one was seventy percent corn, twenty two percent rye, eight percent malted barley, and then and then blended. Right. Uh, both are aged nine years. Look at that nice dark color. Yeah. Right? yeah. Huh? Big difference in the color. Yeah. Absolutely. So we want to compare these side by side. We think it'd be interesting to put them together. Yeah. We're gonna try something different this time. We're gonna do two of them side right. by side. Right. And the, and the proof on the on this kind of the standard one is is a 93 proof. Right. And the and the barrel proof. I'm gonna give you some stats on that one in a second. That is a is 127 proof, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. It so is. this one's so. a you know, we're jacking it up from 93 to 127. Yeah. Big difference. You can yeah. see the color alone. Absolutely. I think is Absolutely. really you know, tell -tale yeah telltale sign. It really is. Um, the mash bill on this again, seventy percent corn, twenty percent, twenty-one percent rye, yep. and then nine percent malted barley. Um, Interesting. Interesting. So get, yeah. get rep two in front of you. Let's. Why don't we start with the uh, with kind of the standard? Um, yeah, let's start with the lower proof lower one proof on the one. nose. That's kind of a. It's got a, a nice hue to it, but a little bit of orange in it. You know, no, real got, quick before we go any further, I did mess up on that mash bill. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, the mash bill's the same. Oh, they are, yeah, they yeah, are identical. Yeah, yeah, they are. It's just the proof. The, the proof is the higher proof. Okay. Yeah. So this one's not a blend. No, the, the, uh, the first I'm sorry. Mash, the first mash bill is identical, but then this one has the second. Exactly. Blend. The single barrel reserve is the first mash bill with the eighty. Right. Uh, Eighty-four percent corn. Exactly. Eight yeah. percent okay. rye. Yeah. Eight percent yeah. malted barley. I was jumping the gun. I was thinking. You're excited. The, We're I was, excited. The uh, high proof. The juke. Oh, okay. oh, okay. So we'll, we'll talk about we'll that later. later. So yeah. the, the people online, everywhere I look, a lot of people are. Uh, Thinking and maybe it's from Dickel. Yeah, yeah. But, yep. but maybe doesn't go through that Lincoln County process. Yes, yeah, possible. possible. Which I'm never a fan of when I've had things that have gone through that. I, I you do. do. I you like, like it. That, I like it. Um, there's no accounting for some people's taste. <laughs> <laughs> so the blue note, you know, for you uh, music theorists out there, there that's the, the flatted fifth. Is that what it is? That's what it is. Yeah. We should be playing some like uh, some blues behind us. Yeah, or we like should. That. Those damn yeah. copyright laws yeah, are like killing us. Maybe you can sing for us. No, <laughs> Maybe after some more bourbon. You never know. So what are you getting on this, Pete? You know, I'm getting kind of a, a, a originally it's kind of a standard bourbon profile. Yeah, some barrel oats, spice. Some, sure. some barrel spice, some vanilla. There's another sweetness here. I, I, I kind of want to. I want to call it like apricot or peach. Okay, apricot. I can see. It's, I get a yeah. lot of cherry. Really? Yeah, a lot of cherry. Black cherry. You know. Ripe. No, to me, it's, to me, it's more like dried apricot. You know, so I do get the apricot. You're absolutely right there. Brand I think I get green apple. Green apple. Yeah. Do you get that little tart more tartness? Yeah. So yeah, okay. I can see the tartness in there. Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah. Like the, the granny apples. The granny well, you, also, apple. you were saying cherry, so you get you're getting like dark cherry, like sweet dark, crew, or dark, you get, are yeah. you getting more like uh, like tart, like sharp tart cherry? Uh more tart cherry, okay. yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Get yep. that green melon. What is that? Honeydew? Uh, really? honeydew is yeah, yeah. That's where you picked that up in something else not that long ago. Really? I can't remember what it was. You might have said honeydew. Mm. Well, it's got a really pleasant nose to it. Yeah, it does. You know, for for night for ninety three, it's got a lot of you know, like it's got a lot of nice nice notes to it. Um, a little bit hidden depth, like where you kind of can't figure out. What, yeah, yeah. There's a couple a things in there where I just don't know what they are. Nicely layered, you know, it's well balanced. Yeah, it smells like a higher. Ninety-three to it me. It does not ethanol. See, not no, ethanol, not ethanol. But I think look, when I get that smell, I think of maybe a hundred proof. Really? Yeah. I I'm, think get, I'm getting a little spice from the barrels and yeah. that rye shining through, even though it's just eight percent. Yeah, I can see that. I can actually see that too. It's really nice, though. I like Let's it. Take a sip. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try right, it. Cheers. cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Mm. Standard. I like it. Flavor profile. Oh. It's creamy. Good. It is. It is. It's, uh, yeah, nice creamy cream. is a great, yeah. Like a little buttery. Buttercream. Mm, yeah. yeah nice I like buttercream. that. It's good. 
dissolves very nice at the end on the palate. It feels great on the tongue. Yeah. It's um again kind of very very some typical typical flavors. You know, I'm not I'm uh, I still get a little of vanilla, a little, almost a butterscotch. Mm. I do get that definitely some oak for sure. That's a lot there. A little bit of that oak, yeah. Not bad. I, I tell you though, I think it sips better than a '93. I think it sips better as like a higher. It seems like a higher proof sip to me. Oh really? It drinks yeah. hotter than '93. You like that about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it drinks yeah, hotter yeah. than '93. Yeah. I think too. Yeah, it's got a little bit of like cinnamon. You know, it's got some legs on it. Yeah, yeah. The finish to me has yeah, a, a little pepperiness to it. Um. Not overly dry, like a medium medium finish. It lasts a little while, but not too long. Yeah, yeah. I wish it did last a slightly it, longer. It, it drops off. It yeah. drops off. No, but the flavor, oop, the flavor is just almost. Plain. Flavor is still there, but it's um, it's good. It's, it's not, good. you know, it's not obviously thick. it's a liquid. It's not thick, so it's not. It, does, it doesn't have like it's not sticking to the glass, you know, like right. some do where it's a little oily and you see a little residue after. Yeah, I don't get it. No, but You're I not get, getting that at all. But the cream makes the it feel nice. Like, you know, right. Yeah, little, like you know. Uh, I'm a butter I get a little bit of cocoa too. Do you? Yeah. Where on the palate? Uh, no, at the end. Really? Yeah, just right. Plus, right I, at the end. I think I get a little of barrel tans. I get a little of that that tartness there. I'm still getting that honeydew on the finish. Are you? I like honeydew. It. See, I don't get the honeydew. I get I get the little bit of spice. Hmm. A little bit of cocoa. Or maybe it's just honey. Maybe it's not honey. Like honey with the oak. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. I like yeah, it. No, it's good. Very good. Very good. Interesting. What was the cost on this one again? I think around 50. 50. Which is surprising because you got this for what? Yeah. We, so, this one I got around $55, $65 range. I, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure. It's, it's been a while, but um, nice. I didn't pay more than 65 for it. Right. Oh, and nice. for, you know, a uh, barrel select and, and a higher proof. Those store you know, picks, sometimes you got to give a shot. You, know, you, you do. Yeah, you right. see them. Because yeah. they're one off. They're only 100, so, 200 made or whatever. You want to move to this one well, and yeah, then go back? Let's, yeah, yeah. Let's, and we'll compare yeah, the both. Yeah. yeah. You know? So, so again, now, here this, we go. the second one is, is, the, is the store pick. Yeah. Is the 127 proof. Yeah. Uh, definitely, you can see the color difference. Oh, yeah. It's got a lot I mean, deeper, if, if darker. You can, if you get, you know, dark take a look color. at that. Right. <laughs> look at that color. Oh, it's a big difference. Well, you got to figure 127 and 93, a lot more water in the 93. But. You know, definitely beautiful color. And and again, this this was a uh, level four barrel, Char so Char darker, oh, yeah. charred. Yeah. Where we don't know what that one yeah. was. For some reason, I thought that was level four. So somewhere was right. that one too? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know. That one's level four. I know yeah, this one's I think level this four. This one might have been as might well. Have been the same. So you know, again, different levels, different char levels. Yeah. Um, the higher the number, the longer it is. So I think four is. 40 seconds. I think they do it by that. It's yeah. somewhere, it's somewhere around there, so it's, it's more than 30 seconds charred. Um, I think maybe that's why it's darker. Yeah. But if if that's charred, and that's it's not watered down at all, though. Right. Cool. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, I'm getting cocoa on the nose. I can get a little of that. Yeah. I some, some baker's chocolate. Let me pull my notes. Sorry, guys. But uh, oh. Ooh, that's most I, great, I get some mild oak. Some 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 just like kind of uh, nice toasted oak. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, where, where you can tell, like, you know, some of, the, some of the tans come out, some of the sweetness come out of that oak. Oh, that's sweet. I still get the cherry. No, no. Not as strong. I'm getting more cherry out of this. I'm than getting I'm more yeah. cherry. I just, I, that's I, I funny because I thought it was it's less for me. I didn't get cherry on that one. No, I got. I said I get, on that one. I was, I was kind of getting more of a I apricot. Got, yeah, apricot. I got. I got like apple, some sort of apple, some sort mm -hmm. of melon, and some sort of honey. I think. I get light smoke, dark chocolate. Um, Definitely getting a cocoa. You know, chocolate. we talked about this once before on a couple other bourbons. I'm getting that powdered bubble gum. Yeah. That white powder yeah, really? from the bubble gum. Yep. Interesting. You have mentioned that before. Yeah. yeah on a, on yeah. another bourbon, but this one I get that. Think about Big League Chew or uh, was it Big League Chew that came in the pouches? Yeah, yeah. That powder, that yep. white powder. Yep. You open it up. Give it a smell. That's like what the, I get. It's like the marsupial of well, gum. Right, <laughs> or, like, or, like, or like baseball cards. When you open that baseball card, yeah, you get that, that gum. Same chocolate. thing. Yeah. That white powder and, okay. and the bubble gum. That's what I'm getting. Interesting. Yeah, I'm getting a, like a chocolate covered cherry. Yep. That okay. makes sense. The dark chocolate I get, the cherry yeah. that we both get. So dark. Yeah, yeah. medium, medium, medium oak. Not crazy oak. Those are yeah. cherry candies. Yeah. Right? Yeah. With that liquid in the middle. With the liquid. I don't yeah. know what that liquid was. <laughs> I think it's just a maraschino cherry. Cherry juice. That's kind of like a. Let's get this one. Well, yeah, cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.
can tell it's a higher proof. It's good. I tell you, you get some it's of that good. rye in there. I, I definitely get, um, I get rye. on the very tip of my tongue, I get all those, all those rye spices. Yeah. Um, the pepper, the, the cinnamon, the... Yeah, no, pepper, a little clove. The rye, the, yep. A little clove, too. A nice rye bread there. Yeah. yeah, well, it's a, it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a medley of spices. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it, it kind of lingers for the, right on the tip of my tongue. Getting some of that pepper. You know. Mm. Definitely, definitely some oak. Now, give me a smell again, because yeah. on, on the smell and the taste, I get dill. Dill powder. Which really? is typically I get from rye. Right. Right. This is not okay. rye heavy. No. 8%? It's not right Boy, I don't know if it's power suggestion or not, but I'm getting some dough here now. Now taste it. You'll, you'll, you'll get a little bit of that dough. Phil, sorry. Um, again, the finish for me, spice. It's got, it's got great flavor, though. I, mean, yeah. I, get, I get some sweetness. I get a little bit of honey. Um, I definitely get that toasted oak salad straight through it. The flavors are definitely more richer. intense. Yeah. More, more intense. intense. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And button. Almost none of the same pro profile. No. Different. Very this different. could be like a daily drinker, and this could be like a you know. I yeah. mean, that's the, the difference of them. But for the price, is so. Oh, well, that's so the problem similar. there. Right. Yeah. That I, that um, I, that if that was a regularly offered thing, I think I would just stick with that. With that one for the that price. The one thing price, on this one here that, that I'm, I'm, I'm doesn't really I'm not crazy about is the finish is very short. On both of them. Well, both I said the same on the first one, so yeah. I the think finish is short. The I mean, for a 127 proof, I kind of would expect a longer finish. This one leaves a little bit of the oil on my tongue afterwards. See, really? Because I think this one is a lighter. Less it doesn't hug the uh, glass as much. Really? Yeah, really? compared to this one. They're not that far. Apart. I mean, they're not that far, but I think this one is a little bit. You know, I do like the heat to this one, the 127. Right. I like this yeah. one better. They're different. The finish is nice though too. There's no burn or anything. No, the finish like is very nice. It's just for it me, just it's, it's just short. Yeah. It's a little dry. Um, I'm still getting the chocolate on the finish. Yeah. A couple minutes later. Are you? Chocolate on the finish. Mm -hmm. No, but um, for the price point, I, I do like I do like the star pick. I do like the 127. So you know, my notes I also yeah, put down. I, I was getting a little bit of like that barbecue type charcoal you know like sootiness like a, yeah a little bit at the end I'm, I'm not this time but so we're outdoors so yeah I mean I'm gonna kind of have a little bit of water I'm gonna taste the other one again I think yeah it's yeah, good I'm curious I'll tell you I mean this one smells so much more mm -hmm. This is more intense. Yeah, more intense. This yeah. has so many levels when you smell it. This one is just yeah. kind of bland. When you, now. when you go, when you, yeah, when you go back, yeah, after, after this gets flat with now. a little water. Yeah. This is there's not much to this. No, I you think know. it's already got enough water added to it. From oh wow, I mean, what a difference. Yeah, uh, I just uh, a sip of water in between, to kind of like you yeah. know, rinse the palate a little bit, and uh, let's do that. Going back to this, it, it, I mean, this is good. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's not mm. that it's it's not good. It's just uh, the depth of, of boy of, after. Yeah, it's hard to compare. No, I don't. After after having that, that's really. Yeah, I if someone's gonna pour this and said, oh, and then you found that, you'd be disappointed. That really pales right. in comparison. Yeah. I think we all kind of. I think we all kind of agree on, on on when we have a higher proof whiskey or rye uh, that we like the depth of, and, and mm -hmm. flavors of, of that you know, yeah. the higher proof. Oh yeah. And less diluted. You know, yeah, right. drink. I think we yeah. do in general. Yeah. yeah. No. And, and one thing too, we gotta remember is. These bottles have now been open for over a month. Yeah. So right. they've really yeah. got to breathe and yeah. develop and stuff like that. So we're seeing them probably at their best. At the peak. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, no, it's, it's I would up. buy both of them just to have. Yeah. But for the same, you know, ten dollars more, fifteen dollars more, if it was available all the time, I'd be picking this one. Yeah, up. I like. Yeah. I do like the Hopefully bottle. Hopefully they'll just start releasing the single barrel barrel proof. I tell you, why wouldn't they? Everybody I mean, at 127, yeah. it doesn't drink like a 127. It drinks no. just like that. So are you guys fans of Dickel other, otherwise? I, I, we don't know if it's from Dickel. I, I've drank some of the rumors before. out there we yeah. saw yeah. on the interweb. Yeah, so are you a fan Google. of Dickel? James is, yeah, you can tell. With that mustache. I've never with that purchased a Sanchez Dickel. Yeah, yeah, I well, never you, purchased you, a Dickel uh, product that I know of. Oh, you had the what's called? Yeah, yeah, we had the Bottle and Bond. Bottle and Bond. I had the, uh, the select, single bottle select. We did a review on the Dickel Bottle and Bond. I didn't love it. It was no. okay. It was cheap. Yeah. You're not See, a fan I, of Tennessee whiskey anyway. No. Um, which I am. Yeah. I like it for a change. No, no. But we'll still keep you around. I, I know. Oh, that's nice. 
charity. <laughs> you got anything else you want to add about this? No, I think this no, is. No, I think this is. Uh, I mean, I think we really broke it down. Yeah. And, and you know, the difference between the two, there is a huge difference. Not yes. only this is the proof. Obviously, the proof and the yep. color is different. But no, there's, you just, know, the flavors yeah, from the nose the to the palate, all the way sure. down to the end. For yeah. sure. Um, again, I think both are good. Yeah. I would purchase both of them. Um, yes. But if I had an opportunity to buy this all the time this going, is the model going, I would, this is where to, I would go yeah and going back to this again after having that yeah, yeah it is it's night and day. I do like the cream of this one um, but yeah that's far superior yeah, yeah. well it's superior I don't want to say far superior that's, but it's no, superior good. But yes it's, it's, you're more towards your like yeah yeah well, we, and again like you mentioned we, we kinda, like a higher proof bourbon typically yeah we did that to ourselves because yeah. we kept on finding a higher proof yeah. higher proof right. and going yeah. to the next level next level right. yeah and, and, and I think we're up to like 136 or something now and we're just like alright we need more yeah because we ended up getting that uh, cat's eye cat's obtainium, eye. obtainium. Yeah. and we got that at 147 Some proof so we're going to do a video yeah. on that yeah, show coming up. for that and that's, that's amazing up. yeah I can't wait to try that again yeah so, but um, this was kind of neat doing yeah. both side by side. And, and yeah, something kinda, new for us. Yeah, we tried definitely. to figure it out. We'll give it a shot. So, uh, you know, don't forget, like and subscribe. Tell yeah. us what you think. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, thank love you. Love to hear your comments. We really appreciate and, it. And these are two I think we should try. You know, absolutely. Have at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but you would keep it in stock if you could. Uh, this one for sure. I, honestly, I would keep both of them in stock if I can. So you might buy this again. So I don't have that bottle. I have two of these. Oh, two. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so, I, I do want. I want one of those as well, well but I haven't one. found it. So yeah, I'll, I'll look out for that. So I would. I probably wouldn't for the price point. I just think for for um, for fifty bucks at a ninety three, it's just not. I, I could see me spending money on something else. And if I wanted a, a lower proof. Uh, yeah. There's other things I would choose. Right. I might get it again someday, but it's definitely I won't keep it in stock. I might buy it again, uh, you know, on a whim. Well, you know me. I kind of keep one or two of those yeah. medium lower proofs, yeah, right. and then I mostly higher proofs. Yeah. So you finish the bottle, maybe four or five months down the road, six months down the road, you come back and buy it again. Right. So, hey, why not? Right. Absolutely. Um, but this one, I would probably yeah. keep around. If I saw another single bottle, I would. Buy them, I would. Yeah, for I sure. Would Cash price. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Let us know what you think if you had either one of these or another. Uh, blue, blue note, note. Yeah. yeah, you know, stay tuned because we're gonna do another blue note, the juke, the box, the juke, uh, the juke, juke, juke joint, juke joint, juke joint. Yeah. Juke joint whiskey. So, yeah, so that's gonna cheers. be interesting. Cheers, Thank everyone. You. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. God, I hope that recorded. If not, we're gonna do it again. Mm. We're gonna have a good time. That was kind of fun doing them side by side. <laughs>